Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. So today I will show you how to generate uh, and how to create the AI bot using Cloud A3 model and Streamlit app. Yeah, so this is our locally generated uh, Streamlit app using uh, Cloud A3 model. This is a simple chatbot. Now we will use a, a latest anthropic model called Cloud A3 because this is, it is the most potential and uh, you can use it for your AI chatbot generator. Okay. So for first of all, what you need to do? First of all, you need to create the account with uh, anthropic.com. Once you create account, you will get the API keys. So click on this uh, get API keys and you will get the API key and copy that API key and paste it in your device. Okay, just create some notebook. Uh, you can say like a notepad and save. Now next is go to the Python code editor. So I'm using this uh, as a VS code. So you can uh, follow the same. And uh, if you have Jupyter notebook, no issue. You can also follow the same. So let me go to my uh, environment.vnv and create one project called uh, AI project. You can see here AI is written all there. So let me just uh, zoom in and zoom out. Zoom out. You can uh, uh, press Control Shift and uh, plus sign. Okay. So this is the uh, zoom in and zoom out function. It is very useful. Yeah. So now I believe uh, you can. Uh, see this uh, folder very clearly. So this is a AI uh, projects folder which I have created in a dot .va, uh, dot vnv virtual environment. Now oh, I will first uh, create app dot file. Okay. So this is my uh, app dot pi file. And second is you need to create one uh, dot env file. So I will create also the same. Say dot env. And this is nothing but your uh, cloud a three entropic API key. Okay, so here you can see this API key is there. Okay, you I hope you have copied it. This is my key. I'll copy it and I'll paste here. So here and then tropic API key is equal to paste. Yeah, and save. So this key will be saved. So now key is secure. Now next thing is you need to uh, install uh, libraries, Python libraries. Okay, so uh, which library uh, you need to uh, import? I will tell you. Yeah. So here, terminal is there. I will go to my terminal. You can see this is my Python projects. Now I will change my environment. Then I will activate my environment. So this is a file uh, script which you can generate your environment. Uh, activate environment not generate so suppose you don't have uh, this uh, environment locally so I suggest you to uh, I will show you how you can do it say I have simply created uh, this project now in this project file what you need to do uh, first you need to install Python once you install Python you need to type Python m vnv space dot vn so it will generate uh, this dot uh, vn virtual environment like this Okay, then you need to give the path and uh, set the folders like what I processed here. I change my uh, path to .vnv that activated uh, my environment. This is very much useful because many beginner uh, could not activate. Just write the syntax and activate it. Now next thing is you need to install minimum libraries to run this project. So this is pip install. Uh, what you need to install? You need to install anthropic python python uh, hyphen dot env then next is streamlit these are the three libraries which you need to install once you install this three library and hit install once you install this three library you are ready to go yeah i have already installed so now my next task is import these libraries import anthropic import uh, okay from dot environment import load environment then import streamlit as a st so this is a basic thing which you will be required okay now you need to first import the load dot environment this is a function so what does it this functions do this will fetch the api key from your folder that is dot env file which we have generated so it will create fetch the api key so it will authenticate you with cloud3 model okay now next is we will generate one function get response then user 
content okay now what will what is our first task our first task is let us create variable called client entropic dot entropic so what it will do it will give us the pass as access to entropic a model called cloud it okay next is message this message a uh, variable client dot now we'll try to access it a message dot create so what does it means it gives us the access to cloud three model so first of all we will use a model model variable okay then max token then system then uh, last one is message so these are the four variables which we need to give in order to access the model now let us go to the website uh, and entropic website and here you can see in the workbench there are one option called model so there are uh, six models okay uh, for a simplicity you can use any model but i will use this cloud a3 haiku 2024-0307 model okay so uh, let me uh, type this uh, model name so model name was cloud a3 haiku 2024-0307-0307 okay maximum token so here you can see the maximum tokens to sample is 4000 so for simplicity i will take uh, say for example 2000 tokens and system that is like the instruction which you need to give so i will give the instruction generate 10 generative ai video titles this is the standard instruction which we will, we will give it to model then message here what you need to do here if you type there will be two things role and content so i will keep role as a user okay then next is content okay content uh, is equal to here i have given the variable called user content so i will give user underscore content all right and give okay here it's a dictionary so i will need to give colon yeah user makes sense user yeah so uh, this function is ready now we need to uh, return get the return function return will be uh, let us say messages dot content that would be zero dot txt so we have written this beautiful function so what does this function do we use this function to get some input from the streamlit and it will give us the output like uh, whatever the value will write so now let us go to streamlit now let us say streamlit dot title so what will be the title of our uh, title uh, st dot title so that will be video title generator okay then user content is equal to st dot text input so we'll ask a user to write some input okay so generate uh, enter text to generate video titles okay so this is a user input now I uh, will also write button if st dot button say name of the button is generate titles if not user dot content then give me some warning st dot warning please enter any text to 
generate titles okay icons is equal to uh, we'll copy this icon control c and here we'll paste it okay then next g any array generated titles is equal to get response user content then st dot success titles generated successfully then st dot text area so text area should be uh, string and value will be generated titles and height will be say for example 300 so this is our simple code to generate uh, stream data so i will save it and uh, i will go to my folder called ai projects and i will simply write streamly run app dot file so let us check the app status so here you can see video title generators uh, some spelling mistake so t i t l e title generators save then click on this local link yeah so video title generator now i will write some uh, things generate 10 generating video titles for youtube video and click on this generate title button so you can see this app is running and uh, let us wait for the output so this is the output generated by my streamlit app so i have successfully integrated uh, this model with streamlit app now if you want to deploy you can also deploy it so i hope you like this video and if you have any questions feel free to ask thank you very much for watching this video